Welcome. This is Barry Jones from Angelic Wisdom, and we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of Aries for the month of August 2022. So I'd just like to welcome everyone um, who is returning to this monthly series and to also welcome anyone who may be new to my channel and so just a few things i want to just highlight um first of all i just uh, posted on monday the 25th of july the uh, general monthly <clears throat> energy reading so if you haven't seen it yet I will put a link in the video uh, description area so that you can connect with that. If you haven't already, uh, please make sure you're subscribed um, and like and leave comments. I do enjoy reading them. I just don't always have the time to respond to each and every one of them, but I do enjoy seeing how this information um, inspires you in some way. And also, um, if you're interested in receiving an angel reading with me um, and you really feel strongly called to do so um, then I, I will direct you to my webpage my current webpage the angelschool.com um, slash services and there's a link below this video at some point my new website will be angelicwisdom.org and so just in case you're watching this in the far future um, that you'll have that um, information as well currently you can go to my um, website and I'm offering my um, first time promotional offer so that's my um, discounted um, hourly reading for first time um, clients but since this is my 10th anniversary year, I'm offering that unlimited um, to everyone. So it is there for you. Um, also, I'd just like to go over the format. So the card in the center is um, a card from the Archangel Oracle and will um, reveal which Archangel um, that you'll be working with for this month, Aries. Also, the cards on the left and the right of that card are from the major arcana and the minor arcana, the major arcana highlighting the major theme, lessons, influences of energies that are really um, shaping the reality as you are perceiving it at this moment. And the card from the minor arcana will indicate how that energy is affecting you in your day-to-day -day awareness and then offer some advice about how to manage. So let's take a deep breath. And just tuning into your heart chakra and tuning into your angels. And just by thinking about your angels, the angelic realm automatically surrounds you. And all the angels that you need, whoever it is that you need in this moment is coming or answering your heart. And the one word that they kept writing since I started talking is request or requested. So there is something that you have been requesting and I feel like it's huge since it's written very boldly and it's something that keeps repeating it in front of me. And um, the sense is that this is something that you've really been um, asking for, that you've been working towards in your prayers. I feel like you've done a lot um, in terms of yourself, um, examination and making changes and just trying to be as aware as you can. And so they wrote the word release. So now they want you to release this, release the request. 
in the sense that you trust that your prayers have been answered. You trust that the universe understands your heart even better than you do. You trust that the laws of attraction are always accurate and that you don't have to be do anything to manipulate. You don't have to offer sacrifices or supplications to make this work. You don't have to do anything to receive what you deserve. And they're writing in bold letters, yes. But they write congestion. So it's like you feel like, or there is a, you feel that there is something standing in your way. You feel as though it's almost like you're busy and there's a hallway full of people waiting for you. The line is congested. And what you want is somehow disrupted by this congestion. And so there are excuses that you say to yourself and you repeat over and over again for not clearing the congestion. Sometimes, some of it is that you got to deal with some of that. You know, you have to answer. Like, you know, it's almost like you have to answer the calls or you have to talk to the people, the right people. Um, there are just certain things that you have to do and you know what they are intuitively in order to clear that energy, that energy of congestion. And some of it, you need to just let go. Some of it, you need to, you know, refer or just not be available so that you can get, because once you're not available, those things will go away. And then you can focus or make your way clear towards what it is that you truly desire. So I feel like you, it's standing, you're standing in your way because you see, but you aren't making the time or the energy for to go towards it or to allow it in. All right, so let's take a look at the Archangel that you're working with for this month. And this is Archangel Perlimiek. And Archangel Perlimiek is the Archangel of Nature. And he's come from another universe to help us um, on our planet and to help the, in particular, to help the um, nature kingdom. So he oversees the animals and the plants and everything um, that involves the earth energy. So it says, let nature soothe you, serve the nature kingdom. And it's a sort of a reciprocal um, effect in those two statements that, you know, you um, serving nature, right? When you serve nature, when you take care of it, um, it has gifts to give back to you. And so when I see this card, often I think that Archangel Permiac is giving you guidance to spend some time in nature or to connect with your own nature. Because remember, your body is Gaia. And the intelligence of your body is connected to Mother Earth and that energy and that frequency. So listening to your body, you know what to give back to the earth at this time. So they're writing the word heart. And it's like if you listen to your heart, if you listen to your body, it clears this congestion. So there might be things that you're doing, um, things that you need to eat. Um, or it might be that things um, that you might need to spend time near a lake or um, in a garden or near a tree or you need to eat certain plants and roots. Those things have the, will offer you your body template information 
that translates into energy that will help you to serve your goals. And you look at doing these things as a sacrifice when it's actually, I don't know how to put this, but it's, it feels like it's, it's like a, a, um, a data that you need. Like it's, it's like somebody's, you know, bringing you, it's like going to this really um, health food store and everything on the menu tells you what part of your, um, what part of the body um, it will serve and, and, and in terms of your, your functioning right so you're for your brain um for, for clarity you know for your heart to know your truth this kind of thing for um, your heart for also being able to assess to make assessments about um what is your purpose at this moment all right so let's take a look at the um major arcana card so the energy that you're working with is the star card in this context i'm feeling that this is about you need to heal that you're that there's some healing um restoration that you need at this time that your soul needs at this time aries so this gives me a sense too of you having you know, really important goals in this month, okay? You have really important goals in this month um, and you sense a strong connection as if something is inspiring you or feeding you and you need to really, um, in order to, to be able to really um, execute these goals, you need these certain data bytes in nature <laughs> you know the whatever whatever part of nature you need um that part of nature will serve you serve your your body in some way and your resources will revitalize your resources now the way that you can give back when you go to that specific area of of the earth or land or if it's a plant or whatever it is that you receive healing from to send your own powerful energy to that spot, that area, through prayers, through different types of healing uh, modalities. It could be rake, it could be anything, just or intention, um, leaving it or set or filling it with golden energy. So, leaving, you know, once when it whatever it gives to you, you replenish it with calling some cosmic um, um, frequencies to, you know, replenish what the earth has given to you. All right, and the minor arcana lesson so how what's going on how this is whatever this is it's playing out in your in your mind as worry okay so this congestion is what is creating this anxiety this restlessness you're feeling and another thing that they're telling me here is sleep right and sometimes you might be saying, I try to go, I can't sleep, I try. But when you have this, when you go out in nature, connecting with the algorithms of Gaia, so, many, so much of the time we spend, our, we spend separated from the actual, literal um, algorithms of nature. We need to be in these sacred spaces, these sacred spots. Um, within your community or in your backyard, anywhere um, in your neighborhood, you need to be out there and and with the intention. Because some of you may, well, I'm very active. I'm always outside, but with the specific intention of connecting with a healing um, space or place that is specifically attuned to what you need in this moment, and it will take your um, 
an increased awareness to really sort of sense this and um, to connect. And by going to this, that place, you will find that you will sleep better and that you will be more rested. And this might be one of the ways that the energy exchange unfolds, that the actual healing takes place because it, what it will do is give you that really deep, restful sleep. And you wake up feeling safe, feeling energized and eager to really focus on these goals and you're filled with hope. So this is why this is, this is important for you to understand, first of all, that you need, this is a time of restoration, healing for you, but it's also a time of great um, setting goals, um, you know, really working towards something, an important goal or purpose in your life right now. And this is coming to sort of, um, it's sort of like a culmination uh, within this month for you, Aries, where the, you can really be successful. But we need to balance, and interest with the stars and this card, the Nine of Swords, which shows this bedroom scene, right? And, and, and so it, it's all about the nighttime here for you, something around the nighttime. You know what? It also, you may find that you work better at night or you might really have these ideas a lot of cre creative ideas coming to you the for some of you the anxiety might be because you're not channeling you're not expressing and it's backed up the congestion there we go so that congestion could be that you're not channeling your 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 guidance you're not channeling your creativity that you're not being active enough in your purpose and your passions, and you know this is the this is the month of of the sign of Leo. So you you know it's going to be fire. It's going to be all about the fire being lit, right? And when the fire is lit, you got to do something with it. You don't light a stove. You don't light a fire um, without having an intention of doing something. You know, without creating some magic or whatever it is. So. Th make sure that you don't just light the fire and then you sit back and, and, and you know, not do anything, maybe because you're all off balance and, you, and, and because you're off balance, you just don't have the energy, the drive, the motivation. But it doesn't mean that the time isn't right for you. So clear the congestion. Get rid of the reasons or the excuses that are making things the opposite of what you need to be doing at this time. All right, so I send you lots of love and angel blessings and have a beautiful month of August.